perfect day for football here at one of the great traditional venues in the English game, Tuff Moor. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical and technical analysis, it's Stuart Robson. And no question, this ought to be a game that gets pulses racing. It's Burnley facing Manchester City. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I've played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. And a look at the starting lineup for Burnley. Well, although we have it down as a 4 5 1, it's actually more likely to be a 4 2 3 1. They play with two holding midfield players, a number 10, and two wingers. The system has a nice balance to it. This should be one to savour. Manchester City get the contest underway. Rodri. It's with Gundogan. Mares. Oh, a really good header. But the goalkeeper there is a cover up. City get the corner. Keen to take it short here. Gundogan. Real chance. Great reflex action. Well, that should have been a goal. Mind you, it's a brilliant save. Kevin De Bruyne with the corner. Well, clattered away. Mares. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Goodmanson. Well, a struggle for Burnley to keep the ball. Bayer. It's with Barnes. Goodmanson. Well, they keep passing away. Can they keep it out? Well, I still don't know how he kept that out, Derek. It's a fantastic save to keep it all square. Barnes. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. Benson Manuel. And it's Connor Roberts. Brownhill. Barnes. It might be the moment to get them ahead. Well, couldn't find a teammate, unfortunately. And a throw in to come. Rodri. Poor attempt at a pass, really. Teammates available. Barnes. Can't miss, surely. Oh, that's textbook goalkeeping. De Bruyne. Well, not hard to read that pass. Barnes. Timely intervention. Ruben Dias. Manuel Akanji. Well, just one minute of time added on for stoppages here. Gundogan. And so, officially speaking, the first half is in the history books here in Lancashire.
Well, Erling Haaland not nearly as influential as we've come to expect, Stuart. Well, I've been disappointed with him so far. He just hasn't worked hard enough to receive the ball, and as a result, he's hardly had a shot on target. Into the second half, then. And these two sides are locked together. Just can't really choose between them at the moment. Still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead. Surely, well, in some style, Edison prevents a goal. Well, for good measure, we can see it again, but clearly not over the line. Can be no debate over that decision. And a short corner, let's see. Barnes. Could be. Oh, tremendous work from the keeper to avert the danger. Stones. Akanji has it. Oh, really closing him down. Grealish. Holland. Now with Grealish. And a decent save. Full credit. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. Substitution for Burnley. Coming off the pitch. Number 10, Ashley Barnes, coming onto the pitch. Number 9, Putin by De Bruyne. Well, nothing comes of it. Grealish. On to Holland. He's got the score! And Kevin De Bruyne with the goal. And what a boost that will be for his side. Well, it's great awareness of space in the box. And then he shows a lot of composure with the finish. That's a clever goal. So the ball rolling again with the score line standing at 1-0. Cullen. Moving into the advanced position. Crossing possibilities. And they need to get tighter here. Tremendously strong in the tackle. Gundogan. And Grealish. Holland. And an astute piece of defending. Gundogan, oh surely, and there it is, a two-goal cushion now, and they just need to keep the concentration. Well, here it is again, and I don't expect keepers to save everything at their near post, but I think he should probably do better. He'll be a little bit disappointed with that. And the ball is moving again. 2 0 is how it stands. Just 10 minutes remaining here. Manuel. And space to cross it. Can he get one back? He can! And who's to say there's not enough time for them to level matters? It would be quite the story. Well, it's a very simple finish in the end, but his movement was really good. He just found himself a bit of space in the box when it mattered most.
So on with the match. 2-1 is the scoreline. What's going to happen next? He has time to play it over. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. And the referee is going to add on three minutes. Johan Berg, Goodmanson. And here they come, still pressing for an equaliser. And so the referee blows the whistle. It is the end of the contest. And the three points go to Manchester City. Well, Derek, they didn't dominate the game by any means today, but overall they had the better of the chances and just about deserved their win. Well, a fine performance from Erling Haaland, really in line with what we expected, I think. Well, of course, his finishing could have been better today, but he scored one and made a lot of chances for himself. I thought he was outstanding. Matter.